Laura Croft's icy return wowed the crowd yesterday at the Xbox briefing. So we're here to find out even more about Rise of the Tomb Raider. I'm here with Crystal Dynamics, Brian Horton. How you doing? I'm doing great. It is awesome to be on the stage. I'm super pumped to talk about this game. So first up, let's just kind of get into it from the last game in 2013 was really the reboot and we saw her origin story. Where are we going to find Lara this time? This is Lara Croft's first great Tomb Raiding expedition. In the last game, Lara was a survivor, but now she's really seeking out these secrets in the most hostile, remote places on Earth. And you just mentioned hostile and remote places. Obviously, we saw the avalanche, we saw the ice pick. A lot of this one takes place in Siberia. How is the weather conditions really gonna come into play with her Tomb Raiding? The weather is extremely important, not only from an atmospheric point of view, to really make the player feel immersed in the environment, it actually affects the way the player moves. As you see, when Lara trudges through the deep snow, it slows her down, it makes her, it, she really feels connected to the environment. So weather plays a huge part in not only the way the player works with the world, but how the enemies do as well. I'm not going to lie, when I was watching the avalanche stuff, I was like, she's going to die. No, she's going to fall and die again. She's going to die again. So speaking of some of the dying, there was some gruesome deaths. Every time she died in the last game, I kind of had a tear in my eye. Are there going to be some more gruesome ones in this one? We will not disappoint on that front. Yes. I mean, ultimately what we're trying to do is make feel, Laura feel as connected to the drama of the situation. So you can't have drama without some kind of consequence. <laughs> And let's talk to, because this is really the first full-fledged adventure game on a next-gen console for the Xbox One. We had the definitive edition come out, but tell me about creating a game for the Xbox One. We were able to rewrite our rendering engine from the ground up. Brand new lighting, brand new material, skin that feels like skin, metals that feel like metal. In addition to that, we have a new performance capture system with 1,000 points of data captured from Camilla Luddington's performance, put on to Lara Croft. So we're getting an unprecedented amount of detail. So it really is a, a brand new brand new feel for, for the technology. And you just talk about Camilla Luddington, and I think that having her come back again, obviously, she is Lara Croft to me. What is it like seeing some of those shoots go on where she's doing the voiceover? She's incredible. She she came in, and I can't imagine anyone else as Lara Croft now. She really embodies that role. And now seeing her performance really come through in those micro details, it's bringing Lara to the next level of humanity. So there was one small complaint about the last game was that maybe there wasn't quite enough Tomb Raiding. So are we going to get a lot more Tomb Raiding in this game? If you're a Tomb Raider fan, they're going to be bigger, they're going to be better, yes. and there's going to be more of them. Yes. You're going to love playing Rise of the Tomb Raider because it is chock full of tombs. And I'm like, and that means puzzling as well, right? Absolutely. To get a little geeked out on this, instead of it being one big puzzle, we're talking about multi-stage puzzles in one uh, tomb. So you're going to see a much more complex, but keeping the pace up so that the fans of the action style puzzle are going to be satisfied. The classic Tomb Raider fans are going to be satisfied as well. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Brian, for chatting with me. I cannot wait to play this game.